More ladies and gentlemen, Bird of Warrior here. Hope you guys are doing well. So happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Uh, my lighting. Let's see if it goes better that way. I don't know. Hold on. Some days it looks like it's okay, and some other days it looks like it's so dark. Let's see. That's a little, that looks a little bit better. Okay, nevertheless, uh, did you take time out to study the word? Remember, we must study the word. This is a must, a must, must, must. And we know it's later than we think. And the solution is Jesus Christ. In this state, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Dear King, our gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful day. Right now, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased. Is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. And it reads, Thus said the Lord, Let not the wise men glory in his wisdom, Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Verse 24. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so let's go into our claim to holiness. Claim to holiness. It says, no one who claims holiness is really holy. Those who are registered as holy in the book of heaven are not aware of the fact and are the last ones to boast of their own goodness. None of the prophet or the apostle ever profess holiness, not even Daniel, Paul, or John. The righteous never make such a claim. The only nearly these resembles Christ, the more they lament their unlikeness to him, for their conscience, conscience are sensitive and they regard sin more as God regards it. They have exalt, exalted view of God and the great plans of salvation and their hearts humble under a sense of their own unworthiness are alive to the honor of being accounted members of the royal family, sons and daughters of the King Eternal. Those who love the law of God cannot harmonize in worship or in spirit with the determined transgressor of the law who are filled with bitterness and malice when the plainly revealed truths of the Bible are taught. We have a detector which discriminate between the truth and the false. To the law and to the testimonies, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And uh, that's coming from Isaiah 8, uh, verses 20. So that concludes my topic today on claim to holiness. So we don't need to be boasting about anything, okay? So tomorrow our topic is going to be, whose voice can I trust? Whose voice can I trust? That is the topic for tomorrow. So here is my hymn, Just When I Need Him Most. I tell you, isn't that what we need right now? And the state, just when I need him, Jesus is near. Just when I falter, just when I fear, ready to help me, ready to cheer, just when I need him most. Just when I need him most, just when I need him most. Jesus is near to comfort and cheer, just when I need him most. Just when I need him, Jesus is true, never forsaken all the way through. Giving for burdens, pleasures are new, just when I need him most. Just when I need him most, just when I need him most. Jesus is near to comfort and cheer, just when I need him most. 
Just when I need him, Jesus is strong, bearing my burdens all the day long. For all my sorrows, giving a song, just when I need him most. Just when I need him most, just when I need him most. Jesus is near to comfort and cheer just when I need him most. Here's the last verse. Just when I need him, he is my all. Answering upon him I call. Tenderly watching lest I should fall just when I need him most. Just when I need him most, just when I need him most. Jesus is near to comfort and cheer just when I need him most. Isn't that beautiful? Let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father, I thank you, Father. Father, we need you more than ever before, Father. We ask you, Father, to just come into our home and reside into our home. Come into our hearts, Father, and take full control. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us another opportunity to get our hearts in order, Father. Be with us today, Father, and we forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed, amen and amen. Okay, my brother, my sister, uh, do me a favor. If you, uh, if this was value to you, can you go ahead and make a like, uh, make a comment. What are you doing today? I've got uh, uh, laundry to do. I'm, still, I'm going to be washing today. So what are you doing? What scripture have you read today? And um, also, you can go ahead and find me over on, on YouTube and subscribe there uh, under Burdell Warrior. And thank you also for hitting the subscribe button, for hitting the share button. And with that, my sister and brother, I love you and Jesus loves you most. So until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.